Hey guys, uh, let's go take a walk around the job site. I got some safety concerns I want us to go look out for. Yeah, let's go. Liz asked me to check the sleeves up on the deck anyway. Jasmine, yeah. aren't you forgetting something? Oh shoot, too bad you have my back. Let's go up to the top deck and uh, let's take the stair tower over here. Watch out, Ryan. We have to wait for the crane overhead. Yeah, this stair tower hasn't been checked yet. We can't go up it. I checked the stair tower at the back of the building today and it's been signed off, so let's go up that one. I am out of breath climbing up four floors. Imagine how Zach must feel over at one time climbing up all those stairs and ladders. Hey, yeah. let's go check on his job site. Woo! Sure is hot out. Good thing I got water on deck so I stay hydrated. Top rails are rated for? Actually, Ryan, uh, the top rail is rated for 200 pounds, the mid rail 150 pounds, and these tow boards can withstand 50 pounds. So now you know. Let's go back to the Navy base and see how your job's doing. Welcome back to the Navy base. Let's go talk to some of the workers on site and ask them some of the safety issues they experience in their time. Hey, I see Tony, our plumbing foreman, right over here. I bet you he could teach us a little something about safety. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Real good. How are you guys doing? Doing good. What are you up to? Uh, just getting ready to mark out a spot where we need to pour this column. Well, can you tell me about uh, drilling? Drilling into some concrete. Well, drilling into the concrete, we're going to use a core machine on this uh, particular application, but whether it be with a hammer drill or a core machine, uh, once you start the process, silica dust is released. So you'll want to use a vacuum or water the source right where the pouring is being taken place. This way the dust stays down. If it doesn't, it'll get up into the air, get into people's breathing, into their lungs. Uh, silica is a known respiratory issue and uh, nobody who needs any lung cancer to go home with anything they don't need. Yeah. That's great, thank you. Not a problem. Thank you for teaching us about safety, Tony. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Thank you so much for all the hard work you do. You got it. Hey, hello. Hey, how, how are, you? are you? Good, you? Good, fantastic. I, I saw some rebar on the catwalk earlier. Would you mind moving that out of the way? Sure. Yeah? Okay, Thank yeah, I'll get it right now. Thank you. Thank you. When the workers respect each other, the safety guys, and even the engineers inside of our trailer, it makes the job ultimately move faster and work faster. That's why the relationships we make on the job site and in the trailer are so important to our safety. All right, well, it's almost the end of the day, so we're going to take our last lap around the bottom, the, the ground level of the site, and look for any more safety issues and do a stormwater pollution prevention plan that we like to call SWIP. Awesome, let's go. Looks like all the fencing is upright and in place, and the erosion eels are making no water gets past the barrier. Yeah, and I don't see any sediment building up. It looks like we're in compliance with SWIM. Awesome. I'll make sure to check those off. Great. I'm going to walk around and note any other safety concerns that I see. For example, these metal pins should be secured into these shorings. Hey, Phil, you see anything? Actually, yeah, Ryan. I see rebar over here without rebar caps. This is an extreme impalement hazard. Good eye. I'll be, uh, I'll be sure to fill out a safety observational report on these. I'm so glad I work at a job site that prioritizes my safety. Thank you for taking the time to visit our job sites and learning a little bit about safety. If you see something unsafe, say something. Here at Clark, we got a little saying like to keep in mind. All hands, all heads.
and all hearts.